Okay, good morning. So this is part two of session two. And today is May 12, 2020. So for Friday, May 8th, I asked you guys after the read aloud of The Boy Who Cried Wolf to take notes any way you want. Having done that, what you should now be doing is creating some kind of art piece based on the boy who cried wolf. So whatever you took your notes on, you're now going to turn into a picture. So I just made a simple slide. And I know I told you guys to make three slides on notes, but this is just for demo purposes. At this point, you know what you've done. So here I have my little blurb. I chose theme as my notes. And then if you can see on the left here, I just chose three pictures as the directions go. So I showed you guys this picture before, if you were in the Zoom class. I like this image. Uh, I have a blurb right here. I just think it really captures the overall story in one picture. We have the wolf's tail turned into the road that goes up the hill with the sheep and the boy on top. The boy is also the ears wolf. He's speaking, the wolf is hearing, the trees form the wolf's legs, the villagers are down here. They don't come up to help the boy because they think he's lying again. I just like it. It's like the wolf looks creepy and it just sort of, on the one hand, shows how the lie can get out of control because the wolf is so big. And on the other hand, it just nicely sums up the plot in uh, one story. Of course, if, or in one picture, I should say if you know the story. I like this image. This is like a traditional drawing or even a wood carving. Um, it's pretty straight and to the point. A wolf has taken one of the sheep and the boy has not, <clears throat> the boy is unable to stop the wolf. Uh, his foolishness has cost him, you know, has made him fail at his job, excuse me, and it might have cost him his job. Um, in the story we read, you know, the villagers will help him get the sheep next morning but you know we kind of see the dilemma he has and we get this nicely captured where his lie affects him and then there's a villager in the background here i know it says click and title but they're not coming to help him because he lied too much so again this is a nice quick summary of the theme and ultimately what happens to the boy and then if you guys were in zoom class i also showed this picture again i like this picture too um, it shows the boy's lie morphing into a wolf over his head. On the one hand, it shows the imagination of the boy and the villagers of what they think is happening and just how much danger they're going to be in. And on the other hand, it shows that since the wolf is floating over the boy, that there's no real danger and he's taking advantage of something that normally they'd be afraid of. And then, of course, it does foreshadow that he is eventually going to be in trouble. So I think the wolf is purposely scary because he's playing on imagination, but he is eventually going to face a wolf. So as I said in the Zoom class the other day, make sure you have at least three pictures and you explain why you chose your pictures. So my notes had a theme, or then my notes were about theme, and then I chose pictures that I felt explained or talked about the theme. So that's why I have it. All right, guys, so you can reach out to me if you have any questions. This will be due tonight. May 12th at midnight. Um, have a good day and I'll see you on Wednesday.